Hello, it's July 18th and I am going to show you my tomato garden. These are the dwarf tomatoes. This one is called Tasmanian chocolate and it does have a few little babies. In fact, let's see if I can find one. Yep, yeah, right there. Then we go and we have Adelaide Festival. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous tomato. Here we have another one, Buddy's Heart. I bought it because my friend Coralie has a dog named Buddy. Now, as you notice, you can see that I have planted flowers all around my tomato plants. I mostly do it when they're in pots, and I do do it in my garden beds. I think things can be pretty as well as edible. This one is called Russian Swirl. My husband's really excited about this one. Here we have our um, the tomatoes that aren't dwarf or small. We have lots of different kinds. Cherokee Chocolate. It's a short guy. Janet's Jewel. Dark Galaxy. German Red Strawberry. Paul Roberson. We are totally, totally impressed with this because small plant, but check this out. There's a tomato. And unless I miss my mark, it is starting to color up. Here we have orange ox heart. This is a biggie. Keep in mind these tomato cages, this one is a five footer. This one is a four footer. So you can see the scale. This is called sweet aperitif. It is absolutely lovely. Tiny, not well, not current size, but smaller tomatoes. And they are so sweet and just delicious. My husband really likes them and he's a big fan of um, Sun Gold. Of course, that seems to be everybody's favorite. So over here we have Momotaro, which is a Japanese tomato, and they call it Tough Boy in the United States. It's pink. It is a determinant, so it's not going to get gigantic. Here's Livingston's Yellow Ox Heart. I'm not sure if there's any tomatoes on it yet. Here we have the ubiquitous Sun Gold. Everybody's favorite. I grow a thousand every year and I sell almost every single one of them. Lillian's Yellow is an heirloom. Mariana's Peace is also an heirloom. I had a lady call me and she was just, she couldn't stop talking about it and said it was the most amazing plant. So it was good tasting. This is. Barnes Mountain Yellow. That's going to be a nice big plant. So here you can see some of the flowers that I have put in. These are flowers that just, they come up because they love me apparently. Here we have a uh, frappe. I can't remember the exact name. It's an espresso. It is a beautiful purple petunia. This is Mascotka. I love this. It is a small plant. It's about as big as it's going to get. But if you can see, it is loaded with lots of tomatoes. Here we have crazy lace surrounding a pepper plant. See? This is Lucky Swirl. It is a smaller dwarf. And it's already got tomatoes on it, too. Here's another pepper, Gypsy. And this is the one that you get in stores. Here is black Japanese trifle. And I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, but you can see all the good little tomatoes. 
They're pear shaped and they are about that big. Nice healthy plant. This is golden gypsy. I love golden gypsy. Um, it's yellow and um, it is a dwarf. Look how thick these stalks are. It's amazing. They're also called a tree type tomato because of that fact. Here's a vintage wine. It's uh, a friend of mine, her favorite. You can sort of see the stripes starting on it. Here's another dwarf. This is Tiffin Mennonite. It's from Pennsylvania. We haven't tried it yet, so we're totally excited. And this one, I think, because some, for some reason I don't have all the tags, I think this one is Fred's tie-dye, which is one of my favorites. Love it. I grow it every year. See, here's an example of flowers. Now going down here, we, we have my pride and joy this year. It is called Golden King of Siberia. And I believe I got it out of a Ukrainian or Czechoslovakian seed company. Check it out. And it is big. Yep, it's almost ready to pick. Can't wait. I have Season Starter, which as you can see, well, from the back side, you can see it has quite a few tomatoes on it already, as it should be. Uh, season Starter is going to be one of my new favorites that I sell the heck out of, uh, because it's very early, and it's larger. So here we have Mexico, it's supposed to be a ginormous tomato. Tennessee, oh no, I'm sorry, German Johnson Pink. Remember, it's five foot cage. This is pink jazz. This is a very interesting one. I think it's beautiful. I pick tomatoes because they're pretty. However, if they want to come back in my garden, they have to taste good. This is jet setter. We have a few tomatoes there. Also another early and favorite of our customers. We have solar flare tomatoes. This one is called Chef's Choice Striped, and there's a whole family of Chef's Choice. Middle Tennessee, one of my faves. I don't know much about it. It was so good last year. And then we have the Taba. Amazing. Simply amazing. It looks like a grapefruit. But look at how prolific it is. Lovely Lush. My husband hates the name. But I'm thinking like, you know, Lush is also huge. Lush, large, big. And then we have Patty Stripe Beefsteak. And it's putting on. Here's some more of those lovely Japanese black trifles. Now, I've had them before. And uh, they were good. So I'm trying them. A customer requested it. And I always try to help out my customers. Now, over here, I have an oddity. This, it's got pansies in it, obviously. But this is um, Molly's, Aunt Molly's ground cherry. Um, it's a husk tomato. They come in their own little carrying cases. That, it looks like a tomatillo, but it gets papery and it comes off. And it's a gold color. And the, um... The flavor to me is pretty tropical. Uh, my husband thinks it's like pineapple. So these are my tomatoes that I am growing this year. Uh, the thing about the dwarfs is you see the size of the pot. They're not super big. Uh, I wanted to do an experiment and see if I could keep them looking good. And so far I have. So far that is big enough. I think my smallest pot is this one and this one. Eh, maybe. Anyways, 
but they're all doing very good so I'm very happy and I really love the dwarfs you should try them thank you from the tomato lady